So hello, welcome uh, Shimi and Adolfo for joining me here in the AWS studio in MWC. Uh, just a short intro, so Shimi uh, Horty, you are uh, the group president uh, of um, Americas and Cloud and Financial Services in uh, Amdocs. Yeah. And uh, Adolfo Hernandez, uh, head of telco in AWS. And, and I am uh, Gili Lavi, I am the partner development manager of Amdocs at AWS. And basically I'm here to say thank you because you gave me a great role because of your great partnership, right? Amdocs and AWS has a great partnership from uh, 2012 already with all the OSS BSS uh, solutions of uh, Amdocs and 5G solution on AWS uh, modernized on our cloud. More than 50 wins around the world, a uh, few PRs that we're doing together and strong collaboration for roadmap with the uh, financial services and media and entertainment as well, and also the various arms of the various organizations. So what is the recipe for this success? Because I guess talking about cloud, it, it's, it's clear, right? The need is clear. I want to hear from you about the, the recipe for this successful relationship, please. Um, so yes, I think the, right now there's no need to talk anymore why cloud is important. I think we passed this point uh, a few years ago. Uh, is there one recipe that is working for us? I'm, I'm not sure there's one recipe for that. I think each of our customer is taking a different approach based on their strategy, on their business goals, and how they want to, to achieve it. And I think what uh, we see that some of our customers would like to go for full modernization. So their preferred approach, let's go to MDoc CS 2023, or the cloud native on the cloud running on AWS. Uh, but other customers think that it's a big jump and they prefer to go with some gradual, gradual modernization. And I think what we have done together over the last six years with this strong partnership is to build those um, pathways and how to make it work. And if you go with a you know, digital transformation or cloud transformation that is gradual, how do you do it with the right path, the right steps, the right technology, the right tools, the right expertise? So we can help you uh, get to this uh, uh, goal of those transformations. Uh, I think those part this partnership between AWS and Amdocs is, uh, is very strong. So if there's one recipe that I recommend our customers, let's leverage it. Let's leverage what we've invested and done together. So I think together we can help you uh, meet your business goals. Great. Thank you, Shimi and Adolfo. Uh, yeah, I mean, from my perspective, I, I would agree with everything uh, Shimi said. Yeah. But on top, I would add, I think it's this, this sort of joint passion for solving customer problems. Uh, I think we're both very wired to say, what's, what's, what, what's stopping, what's holding our customers back? And then we walk backwards together and, and say, okay, it's legacy. They, they like the systems, they like the capabilities, but they want it more modernized. And they want to transform to the cloud, or they want to do gradual, or they want to do radical. We, we listen to them, and then we'll pick up the phone, and our teams will get together, and engineers will get together, and our professional services will get together, and they will just solve for the customer. And every time we solve for the customer, the partnership gets stronger, one win at a time. And, and I think that's super important. Well, yeah, I agree, and maybe some examples for those wins, uh, if we talk about these exactly, the transformation, the big ones that uh, we've done together. So you want to share maybe your view on some yeah, of those? Yeah, I, I mean, we, fortunately, we got a, a lot to choose from, right? Um, so pick up uh, um, one in Europe, right, PPF. Exactly. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty good story on, on, on something that's a more radical, uh, fast uh, transformation uh, on, onto um, the new platforms of Amdocs and AWS. Um, in North America, I think it's a, a flagship uh, reference, is, is the work we've been doing successfully uh, to fully modernize, integrate, and get a, some serious productivity gains at T-Mobile. I mean, those, those are, 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 we've got others in Australia, and I'm sure we can sort of talk about a number of others, but it's, it's, it's good to be talking about results that we have already re delivered for some of our customers rather than promises. Yeah. Right. I think even the one that took the uh, full-blown transformation to move to our next generation platform, like T-Mobile, that we're doing together. Uh, we started with BSS, so we did the TFB side of the house, the consumer side of the house, and now it's growing. So now we're talking about OSS uh, that we're doing together there and moving to the cloud. Opportunities with Doxy, the mm -hmm. uh, home internet solutions. So there are other ideas right now that we're evolving. So uh, it, it's really exciting. I think that's one of the best examples. Uh, you mentioned Aust Australia, so Telstra is a good example. Uh, on here, again, on the OSS side, I think they were trying to bring both worlds. You know, they took AWS, they took Amdocs, two-year program, 
We did a very good job together, and I think they realized the value of, uh, of the cloud. It, uh, Telstra is a very good project that uh, we have done together. Yeah, so those are great examples for exactly full-blown transformation yes. and their uh, steps. And when you talk about the value of the cloud, so maybe Adolfo, you want to elaborate on what they have? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I, I don't think cloud is going to solve world hunger, <laughs> but cloud is going to solve a lot of problems, right? It's going to solve problems with innovation cycles, making sure that they're faster. That is easy to prototype. It's cheap to prototype. It's, it's good to try. Uh, you only pay for what you use. It's secure by design, right? It's, it's sovereign from day one. And it comes with a lot of services. And I think the, the beauty of it, if you're a solution provider like, like Amdocs, is that it's not just the compute or the storage. It's that it comes with all the other services that come top, the AI, ML, the data structures, uh, and all of these capabilities. And they're there just to be taken from day one. Obviously, it's programmable. It's based on APIs. So, so we would like to believe that we are enabling uh, that digital transformation, and then obviously uh, by combining with the capabilities of, of uh, Amdocs, we deliver a real business outcome very quickly and saving our customers money. I agree, and I think that uh, these, these are around the, the benefits that we get, uh, both from the transformation, but also when we go uh, gradually, right? Because let's be honest, it's sometimes a very difficult task to go to this digital transformation, let's say, right, due to uh, uh, logistics and consideration of uh, budget yeah. and uh, resources and uh, timelines and so on. So, you know, many uh, service providers want to take their legacy yeah. to the cloud, but they let's be honest, you know, they need yeah. to uh, it's, uh, heavily consider it on uh, customization and commercial databases. So in these cases, maybe gradual transformation, right, is the way to go and getting these values. Yep. You, you can definitely do that. Yeah, I, th I think what we see, if you look at it globally right now, and we are experiencing and we are partnering with all our customers, you know, all over the world in their, in their transformation. Um, I think it's what we see right now. They started the journey with the application that was easier for them to move. They wanted to gain experience. They wanted to try to gain the cloud test knowledge. The yeah, test the water and to make sure that they, they, they see the value of the cloud. What we see lately, and this was the journey probably three, four, two years ago even, right? yeah. if you ask me in the last year or so, we see them moving towards the uh, core system, what we call the mission critical systems, the heavy lifting. This is more complicated. These are systems that are running billions of transactions for them on a, on a, on a daily basis. And here, what we need to do is to, to define for them a path, how to move and how to enjoy the benefit of the cloud when they start to talk right now on those core mission critical systems. So what we have done together with, uh, with AWS, we basically came to our customers and we said, it doesn't matter what system you're running today. It doesn't matter if you're running on a 20, 30 years legacy system of MDOC. So it's a 10 years old system or it's a system that we implemented five years ago. We together, AWS and MDOC, we know how to take you and how to guide you and how to move you to the cloud in the, best, in the most effective way. Again, leveraging all the experience and the investment that we have done together. So I think we can proudly say that we have a path today to any customers from a starting point, how to get to, to yep. the cloud. And um, we, we're doing that. Uh, we're doing that already together in yes. some uh, CSPs in, uh, in Asia Pacific. And I know we also done it in, in Europe, in Dry. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's really important, something that you said I wanted to go back on to. A um, couple of years ago, two to three years ago, it was like, should I go to the cloud? So it was a question of if. Uh, about a year, 18 months ago, it was a question of when, right? Those two questions have been answered. The when now is ASAP, right? The, the focus now, the discussion is how. Some people got the, the mandate, the resources, the capability uh, to go full-blown. Others need to move slower. They need to do migrations here, migrations there, decommissioning of a data center. But it doesn't matter. We will adjust uh, to the speed. But I'll, let me be super clear about one thing. If you want to get the full benefit, you're going to migrate and decommission. So for as long as you stay in between two walls, you get some of the benefit, but not all of the benefit. So I think a joint call to our customers is just to call us and, and just be brave and uh, think big. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready again. Huge investment uh, on both sides to be ready for this moment. And the time is right. And I think our customers realize it and, and they're on the right journey to do it. Yes, and I think we're doing it greatly together, and it's amazing to see this evolution of these cloud journeys that we see in the past months even, right? The, yes. the changes, sure. and I'm excited to see what uh, the evolution of our partnership will look like. Listen, I, I, I always say, um, 
I said to my wife, we have a great marriage because we are able to have an argument, <laughs> right? And I, I think we've reached uh, such a, we can just pick up the phone and say, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do there? We're doing joint investment. We are, we will do, we will not be polite. We will look for the best solution for our customer. We will engage. We will talk to each other. Our, our, our field teams will work together. We'll continue to engage and innovate together. I think once you reach that, that level of comfort with each other, and you build in something that brings value to the, to the market, as you know, the Amdoc solution and AWS does, I think this can only uh, get bigger. When you say, like, well, we've already done it at the beginning of the call. I said, no, we're just getting started. I think this is a fabulous opportunity for both companies and great partner to have. Yeah. I think the fact that we are both opinionated and we know what is good for our customers and we want to guide them and help them, it's, it's very helpful for, the, for this partnership, I fully agree. Uh, and we could have different opinions, but then we sit down and try to, to get to the best outcome for the customer. Uh, I think we look at AWS as the leading uh, hyperscaler in the telecom industry. So we are very happy and very proud for, of this partnership. We've done a lot of uh, investment to get to this point. Uh, I think that we are ready to deliver all these benefits and all the knowledge and everything that was to our customers so they can enjoy it right now. Um, Definitely on the BSS OSS area. And there are some other areas that we are partnering, which is very exciting. So for example, you guys are leading a dish, the entire network, everything is done on AWS cloud. MDoc's role in this case is to be the SI that is helping us to, to bring some of the partners to the, to the platform and help you and dish with this, this journey. So I think that's a great uh, new opportunity or something different that we are doing right now. And there are other verticals that we can expand. You mentioned financial services. Maybe we can take some of the success in telco and move it to financial services. So I think it's a, it's a great partnership, but uh, a long way to go. Yes, eh? I just getting started. You got a big job. Going. I know, I know. That's why we're all here to thank you guys for this great opportunity. And I would really like to thank you. Uh, and I'm just looking forward to see how we can grow it further. Thank you again, yeah. Shimi and, and Adolfo, for joining me. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. All right.